month each, so maybe not <laughs> paying more. off those debts. Or more. <laughs> maybe it helps a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, weather looks good outside. It's so beautiful out there today, and the fact that we're going to have several days of this is just such a so refreshing. Yeah, I was just thinking, out of those three there, they had Spotify, <laughs> Netflix, and Hulu. You might not need Netflix or Hulu this weekend because you'll want to be outdoors, right? We're getting towards the end of summer. The weather's going to be very nice and very welcoming for anything you want to do if you're a fan of kind of warm warmer summer like conditions. Now, the good news, as I've been saying all week, is that the humidity and that's the key. I think we can deal with temperatures that are shy of 90 degrees, right? Without the humidity. Yes, it's warm, but it's still September. And in case you need a reminder, we're still in summer too, right? So you're going to enjoy some comfortably warm conditions this weekend with low levels of humidity. Could have a little patchy fog out there once more late tonight and early tomorrow morning. But for your outdoor plans this weekend, you've got the green light for anything you're doing out there. It's going to be a go. I know the Bearcats are at Paycor this weekend. We've got Ride Cincinnati. We've got a number of events going on around the area. Obviously, Oktoberfest this weekend downtown. And yes, while it will be warm, humidity should be comfortably low. Here's a look at the weather setup. High pressures in charge, and I started showing you this yesterday. Notice how everything out west is being forced up and over our big dome of warm air that's beginning to scoot its way into the Ohio Valley. Now, you may have noticed this afternoon, you look up towards the sky, it's a little hazy out there today. Well, that's because we've got some of that smoke coming out of British Columbia. That's right, Western Canada and the western parts of the U.S. This big dome of warm air that's just kind of nosing into the Ohio Valley, it's been parked out there for weeks, so we're starting to feel some of the effects of that and temperatures. They're responding as well, so up to 83 in Westchester, 84 in Florence. It's 80 in Cheviot, 83 currently in White Oak. So the warm weather continues to build through the weekend around here. We'll march our way through the mid 80s and it's looking increasingly likely that by the time we get to either early or the mid part of next week, we are likely to officially probably hit 90 degrees again. I do think after the weekend, it actually gets a little hot because we're going to throw the humidity in there with these warm temperatures as well. But mentioning outdoor events, great for high school football and the Blitz tomorrow night. It will be a little warm pregame by kickoff. It should be pretty comfortable and a fantastic Friday night is expected. So right now, officially here in Cincinnati, it's 82 degrees. We've got ourselves a little bit of a light northwesterly breeze at the moment. Temperatures range from 79 in Wilmington and Hillsboro to 81 in Springboro to 83 in Alexandria to 84 over in Brazil. So should be another comfortable evening out there once the sun goes down. Of course, it's setting now before eight o'clock, so we'll be around 80 probably through about 730 and then we'll begin to slip through the 70s and down into the 60s. We will go here tonight. Future cast pretty quiet out there. I do think once again, patchy areas of dense fog tomorrow morning are to be expected. Otherwise, a fantastic Friday with lots of sunshine. And as you'll see here, just not much to really show you because we've got very quiet kind of late summer weather conditions anticipated for the weekend. And that means sunny and dry weather. 61 tonight. You'll be in the 50s again out in the burbs, so pretty comfortable out there. Tomorrow, 84, warm sunshine, but still comfy again. Here's a look at your day planner. This fantastic stretch of weather rolls on into your upcoming weekend. Here's your seven day forecast. So, Mike and Shree, the only hiccup I see in there, I'm keeping a watchful eye on Monday, but for now, I'm still going to keep it dry. There's a chance we could have some rain in there Monday morning. That's what that represents underneath. Otherwise, there's your 90s for probably the middle part of next week. All right, Kevin, thank you. Anytime's a good time.